I was doing just fine before I met you I drink too much and that's an issue But I'm okay Hey Tell your friends it was nice to meet them But I hope I never see them again No I know it breaks your heart Moved to the city in a broke down car And four years no calls And now you're looking pretty in a hotel bar And I I can't stop No, I can't stop So baby, pull me closer Morning YouTube, how's it going? We are heading down to the police station because I have to go and get my fingerprints taken. Because that's what you have to do if you work with children. I already passed all the background checks and stuff like that, otherwise I wouldn't be allowed to coach right now. But to work within the school districts, yeah, I have to have a police fingerprint card. I'm going to get that done today. I should have really got it done a month ago or something, but I just remembered this morning. And it's coming up close to when I'll start be coaching high school. It'll be in a couple of months, but I want to get it sorted because it takes six weeks. Six weeks? Something like that. Six weeks to get the card back. So by the time I get it back, it might be a couple of weeks away from when it begins. We're going to the police station, which is not something that I'll say often positively. <laughs> I hope we don't have to go to the police station on the regular. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not really. He said his concert, he like said something. Yeah, they were saying like they're like casually on. Yeah, and that Drake wants to be her boyfriend, but she's the one that's saying that. Uh, so that was a fail. We went to the police station. Hashtag, but, uh, fail. hashtag fail. Yeah. My fault. No, it was a combination. I didn't read the leaflet where we were going properly, and Casey changed her mind where we were going to go. So we were just under. We didn't read correctly. They only do it on Wednesdays, and today is at the location uh, that I chose to go to because it's closer to this coffee place that Chris wants to go to. We're going to go to a cafe, the one that me and the kid went to the other week when Casey was getting nails done because I've been wanting to show her since then just because I like it and I think it's cool on the inside. I hope they have chocolate croissants. They don't. Um, Casey doesn't even drink coffee. I drink chai, soy chai lattes. That's not coffee though, is it? No. I used to drink coffee when I was younger. But you, then you got pregnant and you went not drink coffee? No, I mean like when I was younger, like in high school. You did? Yeah. I used to drink caramel macchiatos and uh, frappuccinos. So because my teammates did. So what are you trying to tell everyone is that you were basic? <laughs> no, Chris. I didn't say I drank pumpkin spice lattes. You did though, didn't you? No, I never had a pumpkin spice latte in my life. That's a nice house. You're so basic. You're so basic. Tell them a story about when you were in Seattle and someone called you basic. One time when I used to coach in Seattle last year, then we were showing this recruit around and we went and got some ice cream at my favorite ice cream place in Seattle, Molly Moves. We walked across the street to the park to show them the people playing the bicycle hockey. And then there were these like, I knew that was gonna happen. There were these like bums, kind of bumish people. I don't know what to call them. I don't know if they, we're homeless. They look like post-apocalyptic kind of people. And then... Let's, let's continue this inside. I don't want to tell the story in there. Anyways, we were walking by and they were like, oh, ladies, you're looking so basic today. And I was like, oh, rudeness. That's the end of the story, really. We're getting you out now, pussy pants. One of them.
you to work and then we're coming back and then Earl's coming to watch the kids so I can go to work. This is gonna be, this is how life's gonna be from now until the end of Casey's volleyball season, which is uh, just a lot of work. The main part is keeping him, he has to be in the car a lot more than we want and he doesn't like being in the car. So we're trying to find solutions. Basically right now he's riding down to Sarita in the car, riding back, then my dad's gonna come, have him in the house for like 30 minutes and then he's gotta ride down again to pick me up and ride back. So Sorry, Peanut. What's up, YouTube? I got a couple of questions here. Me and Casey are now two working parents, and we don't have any childcare, and we don't intend to get childcare. And sometimes we have conflict in schedule, so a lot of Casey's family is jumping in and helping us out a lot. I just am curious if anybody else has been in this situation, and any tips or tricks that they may have had to help them through this. We we think this is the way it's going to be for at least the next three months, where we've got a bit of a conflict in schedule, and we're having to like juggle the baby and the logistics and driving around in the car. Any tips that will help us to make it more smoother? I'd appreciate. Now I gotta go to work. We are just playing in the living room. Chris is at work. Everybody's out the house right now except for us. But what I want to tell you guys is there's like certain things that I think the baby's a little bit scared of. And one of them is the skateboard. I don't know why. I don't know what happened, but he just like didn't like it. And so I put it. First I had it over, over, right there where I didn't want him to crawl. So I laid it there. And then he like was like looking at it turning and like kind of like hustling back to me and he would just like keep looking over at it and then keep running back to me kind of felt bad because he just like like distracting him from his playing yeah i was distracting you from your playing so then i was like i have an idea because he was getting ready to crawl into the kitchen i moved it to the, the outlet where he always wants to go i think that the mission has been accomplished we'll see if he looks back come here come here baby See, normally he'd be turning into the kitchen. I'll let you guys know if he tries to go in there again. I think he saw it by the um, outlet and then he just like went away. What's wrong? He wants his ball, but he doesn't want to go by the skateboard. Poor baby, you want me to get it for you? <laughs> he made it. It's not gonna get you. Oh no, his ball's by the skateboard again. Mmm, does he jam? You go get it, Mom. You want me to get it for you? <laughs> you were right there. You had it. Oh, you had it, baby. You had it, look, it's right there. There we go. There we go. Sure, yeah, we should go. We should go back, huh? We should go back in the living room away from the bad skateboard. It did do the mission of getting him away from the outlet. Now we just need to get more skateboards to put by the other outlets. Slide to the left. Bodie. Slide to the right. Oh, gotcha. Cha-cha again. Cha-cha. Cha-cha now, y'all. Cha-cha again. This is jam, I guess. We're signing off, family sign off. Baby is definitely ready for bed. Say night night, say night night. Say night night. Night night. Night night. Night night. Oh, you're getting so good at that, baby. We'll see you later. Thumbs up if you like this vlog. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao. For the weekend. Ciao. Everybody clap your hands.